now let us discuss about go back n arq protocol arq stands for automatic repeat this q stands for request uh, n this n specifies that uh, sender window size is n whereas receiver window size is 1 so here what is the sender window size n so at a time sender can sends n frames to the receiver uh, here we can say that go back n arq protocol uses a concept called pipelining pipelining means sending multiple frames from sender to receiver without waiting acknowledgement for previously sent frames uh, now let us see the go back n arq protocol uh, here we have step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 uh, let us see step 1 uh, sender wants to send uh, 7 frames to the receiver from 0th frame to 6th frame uh, let us assume that uh, sender window size is 4 so at a time sender can send 4 frames to the receiver so here the sender window size is 4 so sender is sending 4 frames to the receiver so this is window so window contains 4 frames from 0 to 3 uh, this is sender this is receiver so sender is sending 4 frames to the receiver so 0 1 2 3 4 frames to the receiver but it will take some time for the receiver in order to receive those frames uh, after some time let us assume that receiver receives frame number 0 receiver receives frame number 0 so upon receiving frame number 0 receiver is providing acknowledgement to the sender so this is nothing but frame number 0 so here there is no change in the window size so window size contains 4 frames from 0 to 3 uh, now let's see step 3 upon receiving uh, upon receiving acknowledgement from the receiver sender can send another frame to the receiver why because here the window size is 4 but the acknowledgement for the 0th frame is already received so one position is one frame is free so that's why sender is sending fourth frame to the receiver now this window size is moved by one position why because acknowledgement is received for zeroth frame so that's why this window is slided by one position so now the uh, window is from uh, first frame to the fourth frame so window size is four only uh, after some time let us assume that receiver receives frame number one upon receiving frame number one receiver provides acknowledgement to the sender so upon receiving frame number one so what the receiver is doing uh, receiver is providing acknowledgement to the sender so this one is nothing but this acknowledgement line so after sender receives the acknowledgement uh, now we can say that one position is free why because it received acknowledgement for the first frame so now the sender can send the next frame so the next frame is fifth frame so now the sender is sending fifth frame to the receiver so now this window is slided this window is moved, moved by moves by one position moves by one position so previously the window is from one to four whereas now the window is from two to five okay two to five now uh, this is step four now let us see step number five but let us assume that acknowledgement for the frame number two is lost assumes that acknowledgement for the receiver uh, let us assume that receiver receives frame number two so upon receiving the frame number two it provides the acknowledgement to the sender but assumes that that acknowledgement is lost that acknowledgement is lost here what will happen is every frame will have a timer sender will wait for the acknowledgement from the receiver for that particular time period only let the time period is 10 milliseconds so it waits for the acknowledgement for 10 milliseconds only if the time period expires then what the sender will do is sender will retransmit automatic repeat request so that means automatically sender will go back to n so here it doesn't received acknowledgement for frame number two 
so it will goes to this frame number 2 and it will retransmit the corresponding four frames one more time so already frame number 4 is sent frame number 5 is sent frame number 4 and 5 uh, three third frame fourth frame fifth frame are already sent but what the sender will do sender doesn't receives any acknowledgement for the for the second frame so after the time period expires what the sender will do sender will go to it doesn't receives acknowledgement for second frame so sender go back go back to so it will goes to two and it will retransmits the frames one more time it will retransmits the frame one more time so now the window is from 2 to 5 so this is about what go back an automatic ARQ ARQ stands for automatic repeat request if it doesn't receives the acknowledgement then the corresponding frames will be retransmitted one more time one more time or here there may be a possibility that second frame may be lost let us assume that second frame is lost let us assume that second frame is lost so if the second yeah here there are two scenarios so first scenario let the frame is successfully received by the receiver receiver sends the acknowledgement but the acknowledgement is lost second scenario let the second frame is lost let the second frame is lost but second frame every frame will have a timer so after the time period expires so sender doesn't receive acknowledgement for second frame so it will retransmit from second frame to remaining frames one more time so from second frame to remaining frames those frames are transmitted one more time so this is about uh, go back in arq protocol